RPR. Discover why everyone is talking about it. What is RPR? RPR stands for Regenerating Perennial Ryegrass. It refers to a unique group of Barrenbrook bred cultivars of perennial ryegrasses that produce determinate stolons as they develop and grow. Premiership Football Club Manchester City agreed to field test the RPR mixture in 2011 as part of an extensive product trial period, along with a handful of other Premiership Football Clubs ahead of its commercial launch. Trial pitches were sown at both Carrington and Platte Lane training grounds alongside existing mixtures for comparison. Due to its outstanding performance and results, RPR was launched in 2012 and is now used extensively throughout the club's facilities, including the stadium. I first started using RPR uh, summer 2012, following trials done at our two training grounds, which I was very impressed with. I was keen to use it here. It's fair to say we've had some good results with it. We have six pitches, four of which are used for the first team and two for the reserves. From what we've seen with RPR, it has changed for the better in that we seem to have a lot more grass cover and the recovery rates are a lot more than what we've had previously. This used to be the first team's original training ground, uh, but now that it's been developed into the, the you know, full-time academy. The players this year have commented that they've uh, come on and praised the surface, especially the coaches. They think they've never played on it something like this since they played at Wembley. We use the RPR at the stadium, and we use it at our academy at Platte Lane, and we use it on all these six pitches at Carrington training ground. The training we're having here, six days a week for the first team, for the reserves, EDS, under 21s, it would be seven days a week at the moment because we've got the under 18s here as well. With the wear and tear and more usage levels that we're having now, it does seem to repair quicker and uh, that's a major benefit for us. Yeah, so, so far this year, we've been very happy with what's happening and uh, I'm just waiting on the manager to see what his demands are as well. But overall, it's come through very well. Last year, you know, it was our 10th season here and it's probably the best pitch we've had in those 10 years. We're hoping for the same results, probably a 30% better take by the time the season started than in previous years. It's advanced more. The stadium pitch is always in the top five in the Premier League, best pitch in the country. And after all the concerts and all the events, I mean, we can't really go wrong with that. One thing we've noticed this season compared to last, we've had three games here. As you can see now, you know, what you see hasn't been divoted since the last game. We're at the south end of the stadium, which is the coldest, has the least light, hence why we've got the lights on now. But it's not been divoted for the first three games, after a game, or the day after. The actual regeneration, you see some of the finer leaves there, which you know coming up from the RPR, as well as the bar 50, which we've oversown with to try and give us some protection. You know, we're going to come into a period now towards the end of September, October, where they're going to be on the pitch eight times in 14 days with games and training sessions. So. We feel, at the moment, we're in a good place to be able to withstand that. I've used Barrenbrook now for 12 years since I've been at Man City Football Club and I feel like the grass seed is right for me and we seem to like each other. It has improved from last year, definitely has. The plant's more stronger, we've got roots down to about 7 to 8 inches. All in all, at the moment, we're very happy with where we are. It's doing very well and we're very happy with it.